Hello everyone, I'm Sergio here from Animal Coffee and today we're here with our friends from Ascaso to show you this new machine called Baby Tea. We're going to use this coffee from Burundi, toasted especially for us using the honey process. It's a very complex coffee with overtones of vanilla and orange that need a machine with excellent thermic stability like this one to extract it properly. We're going to make three espressos, one with a single porta filter, another with a double porta filter, and the third with a blind bottomless porta filter. We'll start with the single filter and we'll explain step by step how to make a perfect espresso with the baby tea. First, we take the porta filter out of the group head and we clean out the previous coffee. It's really important to clean the filter so there are no traces of old coffee left to give a bad taste to the new cup. We grind our individual doughs. Here we're using 10.3 grams. We put the tamp in straight Press, turn, lift and wipe out the grounds left in the filter. Next, we clean the group head to get all the grounds from the previous coffee out. And then we place the porta filter in the group head, adjust it, put the cup in, set up the scales, and at the moment we're going to work in manual mode, so we'll stop it manually. We can also program the machine to stop itself. After a 22 second extraction, here's our Rwanda perfectly extracted. Now let's make two espressos at the same time with a two-spout porta filter. This time, we're using 17 grams. Here we have the puck after pulling the shot, with no tunnels and really regular. Now we're using the bottomless filter. As you can see, it has no spouts. It goes directly from the filter to the cup.
let's text her the milk. To do this properly, this type of conical pitcher is really good, with a spout that enables us to pour an accurate pattern. They are designed to be filled to the bottom of the spout. It'll be more or less like this. When we texture, it'll rise a bit more. Now you'll see. Before texturing the milk, we thoroughly rinse the steam wand to get any remaining water out, also any air still inside, and we place the nozzle at the edge of the milk. We pull, and we look for a spin to swirl the milk so that we get a creamy texture. Perfect. We wipe it. We rinse the steam wand again. We swirl the milk well, so that the top and the bottom blend properly in case there's a more liquid part. We pour a bit off from the top, and now we pour from above. Pour, pour, and when we want to draw the pattern, we go down.